Story 1. Elephant and Friends One day, an elephant wandered into a forest in search of friends. He saw a monkey on a tree. Will you be my friend? asked the elephant. Replied the monkey, You are too big. You cannot swing from trees like me. Next, the elephant met a rabbit. He asked him to be his friends. But the rabbit said, You are too big to play in my burrow. Then. The elephant met a frog. Will you be my friend? he asked. How can I? asked the frog. You are too big to leap about like me. The elephant was upset. He met a fox next. Will you be my friend? he asked the fox. The fox said, Sorry, sir, you are too big. The next day, the elephant saw all the animals in the forest running for their lives. The elephant asked them what the matter was. The bear replied, there is a tear in the forest. He's trying to gobble us all up. The animals all ran away to hide. The elephant wondered what he could do to solve everyone in the forest. Meanwhile, the tiger kept eating up whoever he could find. The elephant walked up to the tiger and said, Please, Mr. Tiger, do not eat up these poor animals. Mind your own business, growled the tiger. The elephant has a no choice but to give the tiger a hefty kick. The frightened tiger ran for his life. The elephant ambled back into the forest to announce the good news to everyone. All the animals thanked the elephant. They said, You are just the right size to be our friend. Story 2. The Clever Frog The Deep Inside a forest, there was a pond. Many fishes, crabs and frogs lived in the pond. Theirs was a happy and peaceful life. Among them lived two beautiful fishes named Sahasrabudi and Shatabudi. They were bigger than the other fishes in the pond. They were very proud of their good looks and intelligence. In the same pond lived a frog with his wife. His name was Ekabudi. The fishes and frogs were good friends. They all led an undisturbed life. But one day, two fishermen, returning from the river in the forest after fishing, came across the pond. It was late in the evening, and as usual all the fishes and frogs were at play. Sahasrabudi, Shatabudi, Ekabudi, and many others joined the game. They leaped high into the air and chased each other. Seeing the beautiful scene, the fishermen were amazed and stopped in their tracks. How beautiful they look, said one fisherman. Yes, and so many of them too, replied the other. The pond does not look very deep, said the first fisherman. Let us catch some of them. It is already very late, and we have a heavy load to carry a long way. Let's come back tomorrow, suggested the other fisherman. Ekabudi turned to the others in the pond and said, Did you not hear what the fisherman said? We must leave this pond for a safer place. Just because two fishermen said they would come back to catch us tomorrow, you want us to leave our home and flee? For all we know, they might not come back, said Sahasrabudi. Even if they come back to catch us, I know a thousand tricks to get away. And even if your thousand ways fail, I know another hundred ways to escape, said Shatabudi. We will not let two fishermen scare us away from our me. All the others in the pond agreed with them. Well, I know only one trick, said Ekabudi. To leave the place before danger strikes. Ekabudi and his wife left the pond in search of a safer place. All the fishes, crabs and frogs laughed at them as they left. The next day, the fishermen returned to the pond and cast their net. Ouch! This net is too thick for me to bite through cried Sahasrabudi. For me too, cried Shatabudi. Only if I could get out, I could do something. We should have listened to Ekabudi, cried a fish. Now we are all doomed. The fishermen caught them all and put all the fishes, frogs and crabs into a big basket and took them away. Ekabudi, hiding behind a boulder, with his wife turned to her and said, If I had not acted in time, we would also be in that basket with the others.